This is the lockpicking newbie here with lockpicking newbie junior. Say hi, son. Hi, son. <laughs> Very clever. Um, okay, what I have for you today is a stock lock Sunday, and this, as you'll see in a moment, is a uh, this is a lock from Granger. Granger had a kick-ass clearance sale, and I bought a ton of locks. And we'll see this lock in a second, but first I want to look at my picks. Um, someone has uh, bent my picks till they look like pretzels. I don't know where they would have gotten that idea. But I have bought some replacement picks. So let's see what those look like. What I have here is uh, some goodies from Southward. Let's see what uh, how they came out. See, there's an invoice in it. Ooh, look at that, okay. All right, the rest of that, just the invoice. All right, so here we are. They're taped onto a uh, piece of cardboard, which makes it really nice. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get this off, so I'll just go after it with the knife some more. Ooh, okay. So this guy here looks uh, like a standard hook. It's a little, a little bit flattened, but kind of mostly rounded. Very shiny, very smooth. And then this guy here, hopefully I don't break it getting out of the package. Come on, newbie. Is a, uh, I don't know what you'd call that. Some sort of a Ricci diamond. Looks really cool. All right. Now I have another package. And this one is from our friends at Peterson. Now I was unable to order a replacement for my favorite pick, the number one in 18 thousandths, the one that looks most like a pretzel. But let's see what I did get. Ooh, okay. So what I got is Again, I'm so excited, and we're gonna bring, I'm gonna bend things, getting them out of the bags. Okay, what we have here is a gem and a number one in fifteen thousandths. So I generally find the fifteen thousandths, uh, the ones that I got from Sparrows, to be super skinny, super thin. And uh, but sometimes I wish I had it. And then here is another diamond, which I forget. Uh, Deforest diamond, I think, maybe. So we can now sort of compare. So I'll just say the Southward definitely looks shinier and prettier. Uh, the Southward is, I believe, 22 thousandths or maybe 20 thousandths, and this is 18. I was a little worried about the Southward uh, being uh, fatter than the 18 thousandths. So let's take these picks away. We've got all the new picks. And let's look at the lock. All right. The reason that what attracted me to this lock in particular is it is supposedly a five pin lock with no security pins. And uh, as I was learning my skills, um, I was looking for some locks like this. And I ended up buying um, a bunch of Wilson Bohannon locks, which I really liked and then some Master 17s, which I did not like. And uh, so I'm hoping that this particular model lock from Granger will be um, a good recommendation for other newbies to um, use as their, as their training locks to get to five pins. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Well, there's five cuts on the key. All right, so should we try to pick it? What do you think? Yeah. Okay. You seem to have become fascinated by my lock and not really doing anything with your lock. Well, I'm a little bit more of a newbie than you. Okay, well, granted. 
All right, so I've got a, a pry bar in 50 thousandths. Um, I pushed it all the way into the keyway and then I, um, I just back it out a hair. And that's just to make sure that I'm not on the, um, on pin one. All right, now um, let's see. I think my best experiment right now would be to use this standard hook which I think is in 20 thousandths. And I'm just gonna feel the pins. So I just got really light tension on. I can feel one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is getting in here really, really easy. So let's try to pick. I've had people comment to me to stop levering the pick against the bottom of the keyway. And, um, you know, that's a fascinating idea, but I'm not too sure what to actually lever against then. Ha! Huh. All right. <laughs> Junior says he, kn he knew I'd beat, I'd beat him. Well, show, show what you got there, Junior. <laughs> it's, a, it's an Avis 5540, which is, can be a quite challenging lock. Are you, are, is it ping ponging on you? Uh, yeah. Okay, so, anywho. Okay, so back to the Granger. Um, one and two, pins one and two were kind of vaguely there or not there, and then I picked um, three, four, and five in an open. So I'm gonna do it again. Hey, this is great. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the, what did I call it? Something diamond? Oh my gosh, there's a word for this. Okay, I'm going to switch to the diamond from Peterson in 18 thousandths. I'm applying a sort of moderate tension, and one is definitely springy. It, mm, I'm having a little trouble um, actually maneuvering this guy. Okay, one is springy, two is binding. I'm going to ease tension so I don't bend my pick some more. All right, two moved, but not, I don't know, it was weird, felt weird. All right, got a little click out. Three, four, Five, back to the beginning. One is binding now. Oof, it moved, but I don't know what it's doing. Okay, well, what I'll just say is it's definitely stranger feeling now. Uh, I've never once picked with one of these, um, whatchamacallit, diamonds. And then and here we are open. I think if I got more used to the pick profile, I'd be happy. Oh, this is just great. I love this lock. Okay, how many, how, okay, we're, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit. I, this is a fun lock to pick. I think this will be a good training lock. Um, it is a Granger five pin. It's a cute little lock. It's probably like 35 millimeters. And um, I will put a link to it. The normal price is like $9. And I think I got it for eight on sale. So there you go. Uh, stock lock Sunday. Yes, we're doing this at stock lock Sunday, right? Um, with the Granger uh, padlock, and let's see your 5540, and, and the Abus 5540 uh, being worked on by Junior. Uh, thank you to everyone, as always, for participating in the channel. And uh, this is the Lockpicking Newbie with Lockpicking Newbie Junior. Have a good day.